Is this a good shot or did I just blow it? Hey Team Shot Science, today I want to talk to you about shot selection, or in other words, what makes a good shot. Now anyone that's played basketball for more than two minutes knows that there are good shots and there are bad shots. You could be wide open, completely within your range, and it could still be a poor opportunity to take a shot. Don't believe me? Try throwing up an open three with a two point lead at the top of the clock with a minute left in the game. Your coach and probably your teammates are gonna give you an immediate education in shot selection. So we thought it would be helpful for you guys to have a shot selection checklist to help you choose solid opportunities to pull the trigger. After some experience with this stuff, you'll be able to make an assessment instantaneously, which you'll need to do when you're thrown into a game. Okay, to the checklist. The first thing you wanna ask yourself is, is this shot in my range? If you spend enough time working on your shot, you'll be well aware of your consistent shooting range or the areas on the court you're confident you can sink the shot. If you ask this question and are outside of that range, then you should generally pass on that opportunity and try to generate a better look. The next question on the checklist to ask yourself is, am I being contested? Obviously, shooting is a whole lot easier when you don't have a defender breathing down your neck. So it's safe to assume that an open shot will have a better chance of going in than one that's contested by an opponent. If you have to fade away or rush a shot because of a closing defender, it's safe to assume that this is probably not the best situation to make an attempt. The next question is, is this a high percentage shot? Are you shooting a fadeaway or a super long bomb? Those are particularly low percentage shots. You really want to select shots that have the highest potential to go through the hoop. It might be exciting, but you don't get extra points for how spectacular the shot looks. High percentage shots get you points and more of them. Next question on the checklist is, do I have the best look at the basket right now or does a teammate? Just because you find yourself with a great open look doesn't mean that you're the best option for a scoring attempt. Maybe you've got the open three look, but your teammates ditch his man and is standing wide open under the basket. The two pointer is a much higher percentage shot, so it would probably be in your best interest to forego the shot and make the extra pass for the easy bucket. The next question is, is this a timely shot? Clock management can be a game breaker and you'll have to take both the game and the shot clock into consideration. Some of the classic errors made are rushing a shot early in the shot clock or letting time run out and having to rush a quick heave. Both would be cases for poor shot selection. And the final question you want to ask is, does this shot fit my team's offensive objectives? If your team's system involves wearing down the shot clock and getting lots of ball reversals before taking a shot, you aren't going to want to throw up a quick three after one pass. The system that your coach implements for your team is his or her best guess toward maximizing your team's success. If you're not going along with the plan and launching shots whenever you feel like it, you'll quickly find your way out of the plan altogether. So those are the key questions you should ask yourself when you're considering taking a shot. And as we mentioned before, it's an instantaneous process once you work it into your game. Select good shots and be the go-to guy on your team. So that's it for today. You can check out all of our tips and tutorials right down here. And if you want more help on your shooting, you can click on our shooting playlist right over there. Please just take a quick second to like and favorite this video. And while you're down there, answer today's question. Do you have good shot selection in your games? And how far out does your shooting range extend? Let us know your answer down in the comments and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.